what's up the internet my name is lily welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're not and my hair is a bit of a mess but we're fine we're doing we're doing great today i have an august book haul i haven't done like a monthly book haul in forever um because i don't usually do i forget to do book hauls i love watching book hauls it's some of my favorite videos to watch um but i just never make them so what oh it's a plane um but i have 18 books in one month and eight of them i got yesterday and uh 13 of them i got in the last three days okay i'm sorry we have a lot of books to talk about so the first book is Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Leventhaler. This book and the next book I got when I went to Barnes & Noble's a few weeks ago with my cousin. Um, I'm really excited to read this. Um, I've always wanted... It looks really good. I've had my eye on it for a while and I saw it and I was like, let's do it. Because why not? I'm really excited to read it. And yeah. I'm excited. We're gonna... Yeah. We're gonna, yeah. Okay. The next one, which is the other book I got in this period of time, is We Hunt the Flame. Um, I don't want to butcher the author's name, so I'm not going to even try. But I've heard rave reviews about this from people I follow on Instagram, and um, there's a book club on BookTube that's reading it, reading the series. Um, though I didn't read it in time, because the live show was like yesterday, but whatever. Um... I'm really excited to read this. It looks super good. And I just... It looks right up my alley. So, I was put off this for a while because I saw, like, one bad review from someone I follow. And then I saw rave reviews for, like, everything else. For, like, from everyone else. So, super excited to read this. And then we have... Uh, my mom bought a bunch of books that were 50% off. And she bought me two of them. Or one of them. I don't know if the other one was 50% off. There was one that was, and then there was one that was $5, and there was one that was not. So the one that wasn't 50% off and was, like, full price was The Found a Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. My mom got this for me because when we went to the bookstore with my cousin, I really, really wanted this, but I got bookmarks instead because they're pretty, and I'm, and I'm a loser, so. Um, but this is about this Final Girl Support Group where they're the final girls of, like, horror movies and, like, serial killers and stuff like that. And then someone finds out about them, and they start to get picked up one by one. I heard this isn't his best book, but honestly, I don't care. I want to read it. Um, I've heard mixed things, so I want to give it my fair shot. And it's my first adult thriller, so wish me luck. We have a lot of thriller mystery dog academia in this haul. Just want to point that out there, like... I'm going hard for the spooky season, apparently. But yeah, super excited to read this, and I can't wait to see my thoughts, and I really want to read every single book he he's written, and I haven't read a single one yet. I don't know what it's called. I'm so awkward. I haven't filmed... I filmed one video yesterday, and I haven't filmed in so long. I'm awkward. The next one is another thriller. Because like I said, we're in the thriller. We're almost, we're almost in the spooky season. It's almost here. That is 14 Ways to Die by Vincent Ralph. Um, this was the $5 one. Um, my mom was like, looks cool, sure. On the back it says, I'm only going to read this part. I don't like reading this, so I'm just going to read this. But it says, you have to murder at least three people to be called a serial killer. The magpie man is looking for his 14th victim. I'm really excited. It's very short chapters, so can fly through it um hoping i really enjoy this and i think it'd be a fun read so i say fun it's about murder but i was literally at the bookstore yesterday and i was like that's about murder that's about murder all i read is about murder and mom's like and my grandma earlier this weekend was like i'd be concerned if i didn't know you because a lot of the books i read are about murder Next, so in the last book I got in this like buy one get one fifty percent off thing, this was the buy one get one. I mean, just fifty percent off. I'm used to saying buy one get one, but this is just fifty percent off. Mom bought it for me because it looks pretty cool. 
Um, and that is Better Together by Christine Riccio. Um, I love Christine. If you don't know her, she is pulling banana books on BookTube and she's, or YouTube. She's great. I love her. I'll link her down below. Um, and it's her second book. And this is the Barnes & exclusive edition. And it's signed. It's super cool. I'm really excited to read it. And again, it's short chapters. I'm not super sure what it's about, but it says Freaky Friday meets the parent trap. I love the parent trap with my entire soul. It's my comfort movie. The 1998 version is my comfort movie. Just gonna say that. Point that out there. So it's very futile. Bueller. I like a lot of older movies. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, very excited to read this. Um, yeah. I hope I like it. I want. I haven't read Better Together. Uh, is that no? This is Better Together. I haven't read again, but better. Too many betters. But I want to read some books by her. So let's start with the books I got this weekend. So the the, the last thirteen or whatever. So this one I got free because uh, I was helping out at the at my middle school library, and I saw it on the floor and I was like, oh, that looks good. And my librarian was like, do you want it? And I was like. Yes, please. And I was like, do I have to give it back? And she's like, no, I can keep it. So and I'm currently reading it. And that is The Taking of Jake Livingston by Ryan Douglas. This is a YA horror. And I'm loving it. I haven't read anything in two days because I've been like, not home. Yesterday I was out in the city. Party girl. No, I was just going to bookstores. <laughs> I'm on page 65 and it's super creepy already. I'm really, really enjoying it. And I've heard really good things about it. So... Um, I'm really excited to keep reading. And he's a medium. That says it in the description. He's a medium. Um, so that's cool. I think he's a medium. Is that what it says? I think so. But there are, like, two timelines. There's, like, a Dear Diary, and then there's Jake. And I love the way they, like, it's so good. Read it. It's good. I haven't even finished it. I have, like, 170 pages left, but. The next four I'm going to just breeze by because I did mention them in my ASMR book haul, which should be up by now as I am posting it today when I'm filming. So, um, it should be up by now. But these four I got at Barnes & Noble not yesterday, Saturday. Again, I don't know when this is going up, but like, I got it on a Saturday. And I was with my grandparents all day because... My parents were helping my brother move into college. And we went to the bookstore. And I got four bucks. So I'm just going to briefly mention them. If you want more in detail, you can go watch my ASMR video. But we have Dark Waters by Catherine Arden. Third book in the Small Spaces series. Super excited to read it. Also, I just I, I realized that a lot of like horror books have the same kind of like shiny dust jacket. I have another one in here. I don't know if that one's shiny, though. But, like, it's same kind of. Same kind of, you know? The next one, my best friend's Ex Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. I went into the bookstore for this. I'm super excited to read it. Yeah, I told you earlier that I wanted every single Grady Hendrix book. I'm pretty sure they had Horror Store, but I didn't think of it until I left the store. And then the books I got buy one, get one, 50% off were... The Extraordinary by CJ Clune, and If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio, Dr. Academia, Superhero. Come on. I love superheroes. So, that, like I said, if you want more details on those books, uh, I have my ASMR video linked down below. So, and then we have the eight books that I got yesterday. One of them, this book, I've been wanting since Cat came down, um to see me in June and she got it at one of the bookstores and I was like oh I really want that it was the only one there and I started reading it in the car or whatever and so every time I'd go to the bookstore I'd look and I couldn't find it anywhere so I bought it online two out of the five bookstores I went to yesterday had this book y'all don't know how mad I was I was like as soon as I bought it you want to show me it that is all our hidden gifts by Caroline O'Donoghue I want. I have been wanting this book for so long. I started it. I read 50 pages of it when Kat was here, and I absolutely loved it. It's a tarot card thriller story. Like I said, I'm in the thriller mood. I say that, and then I have so many thrillers I haven't read yet, but it's fine. Why? Why? It's so mean. 
Anyway, I'm super excited to read this. I think I'm going to. Get, I think this is gonna be a five star read for me. Um, I have such high expectations. Well, not really. I just. I think I'm gonna really love it. Is there anything on? No, it's just pink. I like the pink though. Um, but yeah, super excited to read this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna love it. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna put it right here. And then the next seven I got, we went to a bunch of bookstores in the city yesterday. And, um, we went to five different ones. One of them was super tiny, so we didn't get anything. And one of them was, like, ancient books or, like, ancient history and that kind of stuff. And I don't care. So I didn't buy anything there. We found a, the three we did buy stuff. We found that we love them. So one of them is right by a place we're probably going to be going sometimes. And so definitely going to go there a few times. And we found a new, like, favorite one. And it's only a half an hour away. Because it was it's a gifts and books. And the one that we like that skips some books usually is an hour and 15 minutes away. But this is half an hour. So we can go there all the time. And it was super cute. And I loved it. And I got a bunch of gifts for my friends. So, you know, we love that. But, um, it's her birthday next weekend. But first book we have, the first three books I got at, this, at the first bookstore we went to. And the first one I got. And that one is Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. I caved and I bought it. You're welcome. Connor, you're welcome. Cat, you're welcome. Pip, you're welcome. You're all welcome. They all been wanting me to read this for so long. I read Clockwork Angel. It took me like seven months to read it, but I read it and I finished it in December. And I was gonna read Clo I was gonna read City of Fallen Angels next, but I don't want to read it. I just want to know what Magnus Bane is up to. So I'm gonna read this. Who knows when, but I bought it so I can read it and I can find out what the hell Magnus wants. I love Magnus, okay? Magnus rules. Oh, look! There's a map. Is this a map? I think there's a map. I can read this for Magical Readathon. Maybe. The next one is a book that I started the beginning of seventh grade and then I had to return it to the library and I was really liking it it gives me like hate you give vibes and that is this is my America by Kim Johnson on the back it says they look at my father and they think murderer they look at my brother and think thug they look, and they look at me and think I'll be quiet they are wrong so I'm very excited to read this I like I said I started it and it was very like I know it's gonna be really hard-hitting but I really want to read it and I think it's going to be a really important read so yeah, and I know I'm going to pick this if I get the current event space on Bookopoly. I'm rolling as I go for that Brutathon, so, you know. The next one I got is a book I've had my eye on since I discovered Book 2, and that was, what, like, two, three years ago? It's a long time. Um, I found this on Hannah's channel from Clockwork Reader, and that is The, Ast the Astonishing Color of Actor by Emily X. R. Pan. And what really made me get it was my mom also really wants to read this, so... I was like, more of an excuse that maybe I will read it. Um, but I'm super excited to read this. The little thing on the back says, I didn't cry. That was not my mother. My mother is free in the sky. She doesn't have the burden of a human body. Is not made of a single dog. Grab. Mother is a bird. So it's about, her, it's about this girl and her mother commits suicide. And the girl believes that her mother is a bird. And it's like a magical realism. And I'm so excited to read this. It's gonna be so hard hitting. I've heard it makes people cry. I think. I don't. I don't care. Chapters are short. I'm excited to read this. So, yeah. Floppy. I love floppy paper packs. The next one I got is a new release that I've been super super excited for. So when I got it, when I found it, I picked it up and I just snatched it. And that is Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. I'm so excited to read this. Like. But this girl who is like has these magical abilities and like i think her mother or stepmother like curses her and if she ever talks about these abilities then um her brothers would die and her brothers have been turned into crimson cranes like cranes i believe i don't know i don't care i want to read it <laughs> i'm so excited to read this i think i'm going to really enjoy it and yeah so you can see just the pile. I have another pile down there. It's, I have so many books. I need to stop. I went to five bookstores yesterday. 
My mom bought more books than me, though, so. Um, the next one is uh, Love is for Losers, and I bought this at the same bookstore. I bought this one. This is this, These two were a different bookstore than the other three, by the way. Um, and this is about this girl who, like, doesn't believe in love, and then she meets a girl. It's kind of cliche. I'm almost like, cliche. But I'm like, I don't care. It's sapphic. I need it. <laughs> I have a lot. Oh, I just realized I have a few sapphic books. We love the sapphicness in this house. We love it. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to read this. I think I'm going to really enjoy it. Um, and I, I hope I do. I hope I like the romance. Let's, let's like the romance. Let's like the romance, please. Yes. Okay. The last two are, um, books from the last bookstore and, like, our favorite bookstore that we went to. One is a book I've been wanting for forever, and one is a book that is, like, spooky. Um, these both cat loves, so she was very stoked when I told her I got them. First one is The Midnight Lie by Marie Wartowski. I believe how you pronounce that. Um, this is a sapphic, uh, like, a fantasy it's an epic queer romantic fantasy about learning to free ourselves from the lies others tell us and the lies that we tell ourselves. I'm really excited to read this. I've been wanting to read it for so long. Um, and I think it's going to be really good. The chapter's short. Wait. <gasps> the chapters are short. I have been blessed. I have, I have been blessed with all these books being chapters short. I know we used to have Cassandra Clare where they're like freaking 20 to 40 pages long. Kill. That's why I don't want to read a book because they're so damn long and all the freaking chapters are long. Anyway, I'm talking about Midnight Line. I'm really excited to read this. Um, I don't... This cover was okay. I like the hardcover better and I wish they didn't change it. But whatever. I'm um, really excited to read this. And I think I'm going to really, really love it. And the final book in this book haul is none other than Horrid by Katrina Leto. I have never read a Katrina Lennon before. I don't think I own any books by her. I know she's written Summer of Salt. And I can't remember what else she's written. But um, I'm so excited for this. It looks so freaking good. And I, I don't know if there are chapters. I don't think there are chapters. I think there's just like six. Oh, maybe there are chapters. I don't know, because it's just like this and that kind of stuff. I think it's just sections. Um, but I'm really excited to read it. I think it's be a really fun read to just read during like a spooky night or whatever. Um, and Kat was like, if you don't read this in October, I don't know what she said after that, but she's going to be really mad if I don't read this in October. I'm really excited to read this, and it looks super good. So, these are all the books I... I can't hold all of them because the rest are on the floor. But, like, these are eight of them. And this is heavy. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have you read any of these books? Did you like them? Did you not? Let me know down below. I'd love to know. Sorry my hair's a mess. Sorry I'm a mess. I haven't filmed in forever. I'm hoping that I have another video up before this one. Because that's just two book hauls in a row. And I feel bad. But, anyway. Um... What book, if you've read some of these, what book are you most excited for me to read? I have a feeling it's going to be an overwhelming amount of people who really want me to read Cockroach Prince. But, anyway, what if I'm, what am I going to get if I do most recent purchase? I have seven options, because these are the most recent. Oh, actually, the most recent were these two. So I have to pick one of these if I get that for breakfast. We got both of them. Which isn't, I'm not mad about that. Anyway. If you might just find the video, comment a flower emoji because there are a bunch of like flowers and stuff. If this is like House of Paula where there's plant stuff involved in the horror, I'm stoked. I really like House of Paula. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling because I talk too much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!